Logan, why, why, oh why do you make it just so damn hard to like you? What is up everybody, this is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community and some of the drama that's happening, and take this mess and turn it into a message. And by the way, I will be addressing KSI's response video to Deji, but anyways, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I make. All right, and while you're at it, follow me over on Instagram and Twitter because just seeing what went on over on Twitter, hoo hoo hoo, I got some things to say about it. All right, so anyways, I think I'll preface it by saying this. I, I made a video a few weeks ago about Logan Paul maybe learning and being a little bit better, and he definitely has. Like, don't get me wrong, like the dude has not filmed a body in Japan since, so you can give him that, that he's growing a bit. But anyways, when he made a, or he talked about on his podcast about the James Charles situation, like I did a video about that and tried to give him credit where credit was due, all right? But keep in mind, I made a video using clips from Logan Paul's podcast, all right? So anyways, KSI just finally released his response to Deji. Now, KSI decided to monetize this video, but he explained the reason why he monetized that video was because he was going to take all of the profits and donate it to suicide prevention. And if you know me, I am all about mental health, awareness, advocacy, donating to good causes that relate to helping people who are struggling. So on KSI's part, props to him, that's pretty dope because he knew it was gonna get a lot of views and when he touches on it, he did a really good job. But anyways, not long after, KSI ended up uh, unlisting the video because you could still watch it, but he unlisted it and he sent out this tweet showing that Logan Paul claimed that video, all right? Now, in response to this, in response to this, Logan Paul, in a now deleted tweet, he retweeted KSI and said, ha ha ha, F you wussy, all right? And I did censor that quite a little bit and I'm like, oh no, I actually, don't follow Logan Paul on Twitter. So I was only made aware of this by my boy iNabber. And I was like, oh God, Logan, oh, oh, oh no. But anyways, like when I saw this, I ended up tweeting out like, I, I really try to practice Hanlon's Razor. If you've been around my channel for at least a couple weeks, I've been trying to talk about Hanlon's Razor because I think it can help a lot of people with their anger issues and their resentments towards other people. But Hanlon's Razor says, do not attribute to malice, which can easily be attributed to stupidity or ignorance. So, I am trying to give Logan Paul the benefit of the doubt that he did not realize that KSI's profits were going towards suicide prevention, all right? And Logan Paul has since uh, removed that, that copyright claim or he's in the process of removing that copyright claim. So just so you know, he did remove it. So he did send out another tweet that just made me laugh out loud just because these two have beef with each other. But he said, really jump the gun on that one. I'll make sure the automatic claim is removed. KSI still a wussy though, all right? <laughs> but here's, here's the thing, like I mentioned, I made a video about um, Logan Paul's podcast where he talked about the James Charles situation. And I used clips from the Logan Paul podcast and my video never got claimed. So real quick, before we talk about the even bigger issue that's going on, like just to kind of let you guys know, those of you who aren't YouTube creators, just to kind of explain how the copyright claiming system works, like Tati Westbrook, she got in trouble for claiming a video and then she ended up releasing it. So there's two ways to do this. There's two ways to do this on the other end, okay? One of them is manually. One of them is if you see one of your clips being used, you click it, boom, you take all the revenue from it. Or you can just take that video down, whatever it is. The other way is automatic. But we need to understand the way this system is set up is if you set it up for an automatic claim, you set it by percentage, all right? Um, a while back, I had a MCN approach me, and that was one of my main concerns because, you know, I use clips from other people, so I don't want anybody who's making videos about me and using clips, I don't want that to get automatically copyright claimed. But they explained, like, you set a percentage. So you could set that percentage really high, right? So you could set it, like, unless they use, like, 95% of my video or 80% of my video, 
do not automatically claim it, okay? That's important because as you can see from KSI's picture of this, like this was an hour and 20 minute long video just about, and the claim was on 30 minutes, like 30 minutes to 31 minutes. You can see it on the screen right here. So Logan Paul says that it was automatic. So I still think it's a dick move, no matter what. So either A, it was manually claimed, which is a dick move, or B, they have it so sensitive that it will flag something and claim a video even if it only uses like one to two minutes. Like think about the percentage there. If I figure out some math, I'll put the percentage up here. Like that is still massively messed up, all right? Like if your system is so sensitive that it's automatically claiming videos, like here's what we need to understand. Like Ethan Klein from H3, H3 Productions, Ethan and Hila, they went through a massive lawsuit about fair use. Basically the law protects the law protects. If your content is transformative in nature, somebody cannot file a claim, okay? And clearly KSI's video was not just a re-upload of Logan Paul's video, all right? So this was a false copyright claim and this is one of the major issues with YouTube's copyright system, all right? But at the end of the day, like my overall opinion on this is like, this is just massively messed up. Like we see so many creators, like some of my favorite creators, like Bionic Pig, Leon Lush, Elvis the Alien. So many people are getting their videos taken down or claimed by these massive corporations. Like there are these massive corporations who are running around claiming everything. Like even Gus Johnson made a video talking about how screwed up this copyright system is. Like he's had videos claimed just for like remaking a song, right? Like Bionic Pig, he's been doing a lot of covers lately and just recreating songs. Um, Seth Everman, he made a, a video that blew up recreating Billie Eilish bad guy and that video got claimed like the the copyright system on YouTube is absolutely screwed up and there are other videos out there discussing like how it works but basically when somebody takes one of your videos it takes all the revenue all right like you have to dispute it with that company. Like YouTube doesn't come in as a mediator to see if it's fair use. You just send it off to the company when you dispute it and then they decide if it's fair use or not. Then you gotta take another step if they decide and say no. Like you cannot put the accountability in that person's hands. It has to be from something else like YouTube being the one overseeing all this. So for Logan Paul to do this and to even to even gloat about it, because even though he's removing it, like, I have to sit back and wonder. I have to sit back and, like, ask myself, like, had KSI's video been monetized, but it wasn't going towards a good cause, would Logan still claim his video? That's the question that I feel all of us need to be asking ourselves, because what it seems like is he still would have claimed that video. Like, just play this out with me real quick. Let's say KSI, wasn't going through this, you know, beef with his brother, and KSI just made a video, you know, commenting on a video by Logan Paul, right? And Logan Paul claimed that video and then publicly laughed about it and took all of the revenue from that video, right? It would still be massively screwed up. So I'm not just gonna let Logan Paul off the hook here, like, oh, so since he realized that the, the money was going towards suicide prevention and is releasing it, all as well because now we have to ask ourselves is logan paul just going to run around claiming videos like like this is something as a commentary channel i have to ask myself i am so deathly afraid like like the other commentary channels who comment on like you know uh, uh movies or tv shows or even like song reactions i'm like you got some cojones all right because i see so many people getting copyright claimed that i am like deathly afraid of that at the end of the day, here's what I think would fix YouTube's system. I think a lot of us would be much happier with this system if YouTube does not have the bandwidth to manually check all of these copyright claims, and it's this. Based on the percentage of the video that is used, that is the percentage of revenue that goes to that company, all right? So if 1% 
of the other person's video was used, only 1% of the revenue would go to that company. I think, I think that would solve a lot of issues. And sure, a lot of people would still be very upset and still complain, but like I said, like if that is the best we can get as creators, I think that's a deal that we should be willing to take. But who the hell am I? It's not like Susan Wojcicki. Is that how you say her name? I don't know. It's not like she's watching my video. But anyways, I think that would solve a lot of these issues. But let me know down in the comments below what you think about Logan Paul copyright claiming KSI's video, all right? Anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul because I love engaging with all of you beautiful people people and a huge huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you are all amazing and if you would like to become a patron get your name up in the credits get access to some exclusive perks and benefits click a tap right there all right thanks again so so much for watching i'll see you next time